sailing, jumping and tonding telephone. The usual rate for Holland third party liability? Yes. And £2,700 value? I bet the chaps, I'm sure he's a good sailor. Gentlemen, a report received from Lloyd's agent Montevideo concerning the overdue vessel Salamander states that she arrived safely at that port early this morning. Only one thing can silence the room, and that is one of the most famous bells in the world, the Lutine bell. It is rung once for bad news, such as the loss of an overdue vessel, and twice for good. And since it is only sounded three or four times a year, not even the most experienced member can hear it without a sense of drama. But the caller's job is usually less dramatic. Henry Hyman Ricketts. Anyone who wants to contact a particular broker in the room gives his firm and name to the caller. If you're on a gallery, your request goes to the caller by telewriting. Ellis Buckle Higgins, please. John Baring Healing, Lambert Innocenti, Ellis Buckle Higgins, Thomas Brooks Wilding. Excuse me, Fred, my name just gone. Right. The broker merely goes to the nearest of 70 special dials and dials his personal code number, followed by the number of the box where he can be found. The code number is automatically translated into his name, which appears with a box number on the indicator board. But I've had a word with one or two underwriters and they agree to follow you at 1%. All right then, I'll lead it off with 200,000. Jolly good, thank you. Sedgwick Collins Powell, Price Falls Falls, Black Shoes, Friend Hall Yates, John Minnan Cheney, Roger Locke, Robert Locke. The committee room at Lloyd's is the most beautiful room in the whole of the new building. It was adapted from the original Adam Great Room of Bowood House, Wiltshire, the property of the Marquis of Lansdowne. Every member of Lloyd's, whether underwriter or broker, has to be elected to his membership by the committee of Lloyd's. The procedure of election is in the time-honored tradition of a London club, but there is nothing old-fashioned or club-like about the process that leads up to it. By the time a man's name is placed before the committee as a candidate for election, all the searching questions have been asked, the funds deposited, the securities handed over. The fact that a man is on the list of candidates means that he will be able to meet every obligation the rules allow him to undertake. The 60 underwriting members have been elected. Well, gentlemen, that concludes the formal business of the meeting. Not all of those elected as underwriting members will actually work in the room. The great majority of them will never write a line. They will be names, members of syndicates for whom the active underwriters will sign slips. For every single member of a syndicate, and some of them run into hundreds of names, must himself be an elected member of Lloyd's, with all the carefully ascertained security and reliability the phrase implies. One more link with the coffeehouse days, when underwriters, brokers and master mariners sat at the same table. The members' restaurant is still called the captain's room. Members of the honorable company of master mariners still may and do use the captain's room. Pick out any two or three of these men at random, and you will find that in one way or another, their interests circle the globe, and Lloyd's eyes and ears are everywhere.
to Lloyd's, London. San Francisco arrival, 17th April. President Van Buren from Honolulu. Keystone Mariner from Yokohama. Flying Gold from Puerto Rico. A Lloyd's, Londres. Llegadas Buenos Aires, 17 April. Oswestry Grange de Liverpool. Aristides de Rosario. Rio Tunuyan de Nueva Orleans. Marinero de Hampton Roads. To Lloyd's, London. Sydney departure, 17th of April. Or sober for Vancouver. Lloyd's, London. Rotterdam, vertrek 17 april. Noors commander naar Hamburg. Tarragona naar Barcelona via Antwerpen. Anglia naar Bremen. Kitte Tulstrop. Lloyd's eyes and ears are the Lloyd's agents scattered around the world. A typical Lloyd's agent is normally, like this, a well-known local firm. Throughout the world, much prestige is attached to being a Lloyd's agent, and the privilege of displaying this sign is highly prized. Basically, the function of a Lloyd's agent is to be a source of shipping intelligence for Lloyd's of London. But they have other functions too. For example, a cargo arrives damaged, and there is likely to be a claim on underwriters. Lloyd's agent for the port is called in to survey the damage. His survey is expected to be, and is, impartial, and is respected by all sides. Here, 24 hours a day and seven days a week, news arrives from Lloyd's agents, ship owners, and other sources all over the globe. All these facts are passed to the shipping editor's department, which publishes the second oldest daily newspaper in London, Lloyd's List. And for greater detail of ships' movements, they also publish Lloyd's Shipping Index, which reports on some 15,000 vessels and is reissued with an average of 4,000 entries revised every day. But not all Lloyd's information comes from the agents or ship owners. Sometimes it comes via shore radio from the sea itself. Mayday, mayday. This is Henrietta Rose. Henrietta Rose. Henrietta Rose. I'm sinking. I'm sinking in position 5523 north, 0015 west. I am sinking in position 5523 north, 0015 west. Over. Upstairs, on the non-marine floor, our Australian bridge slip is nearing completion. I've already checked on the flood situation, and I think it's pretty slight. How much to finish? 25,000. I'll write you 25. Jolly good. The slip is now complete. It is not yet a policy which is a much more detailed document and is drawn up by the broker. But the policy and the slip have to be checked against each other to make sure they correspond. This is done in Lloyd's policy signing office by experts who can recognize at a glance the initials of hundreds of different underwriters and who know exactly what every abbreviation on the slip means. Hundreds of underwriters, hundreds of brokers and thousands of transactions between them in every possible permutation and combination. A total premium income in the region of 300 million pounds a year. 
When a policy has been fully checked, it receives the Lloyd's seal, and it is then a valid Lloyd's policy, a document tailor-made for today's needs, but with the backing and authority of 300 years of tradition summed up in a seal. Our bridge builders can concentrate on their buildings in the knowledge of security. Our yachtsmen can set sail with confidence. Prepare to hoist the mainsail. Aye, aye, sir. Hoist the mainsail. Little ships, great bridges, ocean liners, Aircraft, motor cars, almost every kind of risk is handled by the men in this room. Individually, they are underwriters and brokers. Collectively, they are Lloyds of London. <laughs> 